1333, starting your text with the word Shrop. Jim Hawkins in the morning. Proud to be part of your county. BBC Radio Shropshire. And it's an issue for people who undertake the cycling challenges, which are far from being a rare thing these days. We've talked in recent weeks about upping the game when it comes to charity fundraising events. But John Baker and eight of his friends are going to be undertaking a mammoth cycling challenge later this month. John, thanks for joining us uh, Good morning, on, on the show this morning. What is it that you're going to be doing? Uh, right, well, um, we're going to be riding from the Austrian border in the north of Italy, uh, so in the Alps, to Reggio Calabria, on the southern tip, the actual toe of Italy, if you look at the map. Um, and we're going to do that in 12 days, um, non-stop. We're not having a rest day. We're just going to crack on and do it. Italy, famously, is shaped like a boot, and you're going from, uh, from the top of the boot to its toe. Yeah, essentially, yeah. That's why we've called the challenge Top to Toe, Ride Italy, yeah. Uh, how far is it? Uh, right, well, I'll give you in the foreign dimensions so it's 1700 kilometers and that's 1060 miles and we're going to be climbing 28,000 meters uh, and i think that's something like oh, i don't know 92,000 feet it's uh, a lot of road climbing so we're gonna it's a very lumpy country italy very lumpy <laughs> Lumpy country. That's, <laughs> that's further than John O'Groats' Land's End, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. It's further. It's not it, It's not a lot further, but it's the amount of climbing that it just far and away outweighs the Land's End John O'Groats challenge. Yeah, the Land's End John O'Groats challenge, it's, it's like a nine-day thing, uh, and we're going to do this in 12 days. So, uh, yeah, it's just like a third again, really. How do you set about training, preparing for something like this? Well, um, Eddie Merckx used to say ride a bike ride a bike and ride a bike again and that's what we've been doing we've just been going out on 100 mile road rides uh, groups of us all the lads involved we'll set off from shrewsbury we'll ride to Bala and then come back via lake vernoy we'll head into south shropshire because south shropshire is really hilly and really just do loads and loads of hilly road rides to get used to doing 100 miles in the saddle so there's uh, there's nine of you doing this. Um, how many of you have done something like this before, if any? Uh, right. Well, the guy whose who's, who's idea this was, Tim Morris, he did uh, Land's End John O'Groats three years ago with two other guys who were on this ride. Right. And Tim is a, a cancer survivor, and this is the reason why we're doing it, uh, to raise funds for Cancer Research UK. Um, and was that was that um, what made what made Tim do uh, do Lands End John and Groats or vice versa? Well, he he was he was diagnosed with tongue cancer uh, I think three years ago in his late thirties, and he was successfully treated and he's had the all clear, uh, and he just wanted to give something back to the cancer charities that have, you know are tirelessly working to try and find a cure for the for the disease. And there's, there's hardly any families in the UK that have not been touched by cancer one way or another. Uh, so I'm guessing that must that must also be true to an extent for uh, for the for the other eight of you too. Well, yes, uh, exactly. I mean, uh, as you say, it's it's one of the it affects a lot of people, not just in Britain but around the world. And cancer research is the biggest worldwide charity to find a cure. So they're not just trying to find a cure for British folks. They share their information with other cancer charities around the world. And my, my personal reason for doing this is because of my sister. She's, uh, she's had cancer four times in 10 years. I know, yeah, flame it now. Um, and she's now on her fourth tumour, which unfortunately is secondary, which, uh, as a lot of people know, which is, which is more dangerous. She initially had breast cancer 10 years ago. But she keeps fighting it, and she keeps getting it all clear, and we hope she keeps doing that forever and a day. And we celebrated her 50th birthday at the weekend, and her friends donated £450 towards our challenge, which was absolutely fantastic. What's your sister's name, John? Uh, Marion Baker. Marion Baker. Baker. Okay. Um, how much money are you hoping to raise in total? Well, we set ourselves a massive figure of £25,000. Whoa, big, to big total. Big total. Uh... If we get it, that would be amazing. If we don't, it doesn't matter. We are trying to raise as much money as possible from kids 
saving their pocket money to corporate donations. It, whatever total we come up with, we're going to be happy and we're going to do this challenge. And if someone wants to support you, then how can they find out more? Where can they go to? Right, well, we've got it, obviously, uh, Facebook and things like that. We've got a Facebook page, which is Top to Toe Ride Italy, and the two is a numerical two. And we have a Twitter page, which is TTT Italy. Uh, we have Just Giving, again, that's uh, TTT Italy. We also have uh, donation tins in the local bike shop. So if people are in Shrewsbury, please go to the, the Trailhead in Frankwell. They've got a collection tin. Or go to Dave Mellors. They will gladly accept the donations as these shops uh, are sponsoring our ride with equipment and, and, and other, other things. So, you know, these guys are helping us out because it's, you know, we're taking 12 days off work. And these people want to get involved with this great challenge. Top to toe, ride Italy. Um, search for that on Facebook, on 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 Twitter. TTT Italy. Yeah. Um, John, when do you leave? We leave uh, on the. Well, I leave on the. Let me. Know, I've got the calendar in front of me. I leave next Friday night in the support vehicle. My mate Mark is gladly uh, driving the support vehicle for us. That's been donated by Horizon Motorhomes. And then we start riding on the 15th. So um, keep looking at the Facebook page. And, Jim, I'd be more than happy for you to ring us mid-ride yeah. and see how we're getting on and um, how much pain we're in. <laughs> right. Hopefully not that much. Uh, uh, John, hang on, hang on. Thank you very much for being with us. Hang on the line a second. We'll get your details and make sure we can talk to you during that. John Baker, thank you very much. You get where you need to be. Travel News from BBC Radio Trouble. And here's Liz. Jim, thank you very much. It's